Hi, Steve Hughes here. I got involved in Montessori education not long after my daughter started at her first Montessori school just before her third birthday. Her Montessori journey continued through adolescence, and it's fair to say that her life is different from how it would have been, and so is mine, because her first Montessori teacher was simply extraordinary. You know, we wouldn't have hung around if her initial experience had been nothing special, but it was, and we did. What behaviors, motivations, and skills distinguish extraordinary Montessori guides from those who are, you know, fine or merely competent? Can we find out? Are excellent Montessori guides born great or did they figure something out along the way? And can we help more Montessori guides be extraordinary? Here in Prague, we're working on a tool borrowed from industrial organizational psychology. It's called a competency model. And specifically, we're building a competency model that describes the skills, motivations, and behaviors of exceptional Montessori three to six guides. There's an established process through which a competency model is created, and we won't be done for many months. However, we'll have some preliminary results from our first steps available in November. And I'll be talking about these results and the rest of the process at Lead Montessori. Hope to see you there.